Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my video. Can you tell that my car window is dirty? I think I need to get on cleaning that. I am headed into Sam's Club today. I hope you guys enjoy the Sam's Club haul. We're also, I'm also going to be showing you all kinds of new stuff. I think I've made a grave mistake though. <laughs> I came on a Sunday because I then don't have to bring the kids with me. I remembered why I don't come on weekends. It is so busy. I was thinking Super Bowl Sunday. So like maybe people won't be out and about. Apparently I'm wrong. So we're going to head in. Let's go see what we find. Look at all of these pretty flowers that they have here for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. They're kind of expensive, but I think fresh flowers in general are expensive, to be honest. It's, these are probably actually a pretty good price. One of my favorite all-time flowers are hydrangeas. The ultra premium bouquet, 40 bucks. Rose arrangement for 30. I think those are around here. Oh, these are pretty too. Oh, I love fresh flowers. I feel like Trader Joe's also has some really great fresh flowers too for a really good price. Oh, even cheaper over here. $15.98 for a premium bouquet. I wish I knew which was which, cause that's not too bad. Look at these outdoor sets. This is a Lazy Boy outdoor set. I have never even heard of that before. $1,300 for, I mean, that's kind of pricey for, oh, they're recliners. Interesting. So this little foot part, the wicker part kicks out. You get two chairs and the table. I guess they're more expensive because it's the recliners, but it's the Sunbrella fabric, which I have heard good things about. Let's see around here. They also have this whole set for about like 3000, but I think it comes with the fire pit. Two chairs, this couch right back here in the fire pit. I feel like that's not terrible. I don't really know, you guys. I have not even started shopping for outdoor furniture. That is not in the budget for this year. I guess that just comes along with buying a home is you just have to take it slow and outdoor furniture is not currently on the list. But I do love the look of this one with the black and the X's in the back and the nice fabric. Although this white fabric would not last even two seconds in my house. $12.99 for these two chairs the couch and the table. Ooh, I do like this sectional though. This is so cool. This is the Sunbrella fabric again. This is a seven piece sectional with the fire pit. So you get this little ottoman, this longer bench, the sectional and a fire pit. That's not too bad. This one looks really nice too. This is 3000 for the two ottomans, the chairs, fire pit and everybody loves a good fire pit. You know what I mean? Like everybody gathering around the fire. Ooh, look, and I see this little camping chair over here. <laughs> Why is it that everybody at the campsite always wants these little reclining ones? Like everybody fights over these, I swear. This is so cool. That Ooh, and it rocks too. That's amazing. I have no idea how much this is. I think it's this one, the swing lounger for $50. Oh, that's not even terrible because regular, like look at this hard arm chair. This one has a little cup holder, but this one is $21.98, originally $25. So essentially half the price, but a swinger one, that's kind of nice. I'm really excited to see if they have some gardening stuff out too. It seems like they're pulling out all the spring stuff. Here we are still very cold, but I definitely sense some warmer weather coming. We looked like out our back door at our property yesterday and we were like, robins, we see robins. They were literally out flying around, which means they have come back from the south. Things are gonna start getting warmer, which I'd love to see. My kids would love this, let me show you. A couple things to note here. This grill and chill pizza party playhouse, of course my kids would love it. My kids are still very young, so this would still work for them. Love that it has a little grill. Like that's just so cute, but $350, that's kind of pricey. We also got one as a hand-me-down, which was free. So that's a little bit <laughs> better. But this one, my kids would love this too, the bounce one. It looks like it also has some kind of water feature that you can hook up to it for 200. Now this one I'm actually considering it is $60. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull the trigger on it, but it's a kid's picnic table. Like you can see right here, we had one of these last summer. It was the like play school brand or something like that, a really popular kid's brand, but it broke. The kids used it literally so much that it broke because it was all plastic. I do like that these are more like steel on the bottom here. UV protected, stain resistant, folds flat for storage. Ooh, that's kind of nice that it would fold up during the winter time and we could store it. Hmm. And right along with all the spring stuff, we still have shovels out. <laughs> Keeping ourselves humble here. Well, that's kind of cool. A cordless snow shovel. I've never even heard of this. Do any of you guys use something like this? If so, let me know. Does it work well? Battery and charger. Okay. 
I'm intrigued. This one is $120. So it's like smaller than a snow blower though. Hmm. I am sharing this because we have one of these at home, not this brand. Uh, so I can't speak to the exact brand. This one is 89. The one that we got is a lot more expensive and I'm gritting my teeth saying that, but Derek is very much still an athlete. And so we decided to use his company discount and all that kind of stuff to get a better one. I think we got the Theragun. All that being said, I love the Theragun. I don't know if this would be worth it or not. Maybe some of you guys, if you've picked it up at Sam's Club, can let us know down in the comments below. But for this pregnancy, it has been amazing on my back. I usually just use it on my upper back because it freaks me out to use it on my lower back so close to the baby. But it has really been a lifesaver. Tell me this is not so fun for the summer and springtime. Mega Bubble Blaster. Batteries. Oh, batteries are included. Are you kidding me? They just already know the good stuff. Bubble Solution too. And it kind of looks like this. That is so cool. So I think you just pull a trigger, which my kids would love. That does a lot of bubbles. Oh my gosh. $20 though. That's like a great deal. Of course, they always have these water balloons. They also carry these at Costco. I'm not sure if they're carrying them this year. I'm sure they are. They have every other year. But if you like to do water balloons with your kids, this is what you want. All you do is hook up these. I'm trying to show you the best way to show it. But on the bottom of these like sticks, they're all together. They are in, look. They're on that little cap and you just screw it onto your hose, fill it on up, and then they literally tie themselves too. So $25, it's way better than doing it yourself. A thousand times better, but it does make a big mess in the yard. I've been seeing a reel going around on Instagram where it says all of a sudden you wake up <laughs> and you are interested in watching birds when you thought you were young just yesterday. And I'm like, yeah, I totally get that. But also my kids would love watching birds. So if you need a 40 pound bag of wild bird food, this is the place to get it for 30 bucks. But I was also looking at these planters over here. These planters are cute for a smaller option. I love the white. The blue is beautiful as well. I don't know how much those are though, to be honest with you. My pick would probably be this big white one. I love that it says frost resistant, so you probably don't even have to bring it in in the winter. That's only 20 bucks. I do wish it was a little taller. It's 22 inches tall. And I feel like on the picture, it's like, okay, that might be a little short, but that is gorgeous. Well, short for what I'm wanting. I'm, I've been looking for planters that are much taller, but I really do love that one. For $20, are you kidding me? They also have these ones right here too. These are 21 inch ones. So just an inch shorter or an inch less in width. I don't know, they don't say. These are pretty too. I love the design. They also have a white one back there. They've got some of these over here as well. These are wine barrel planters for $15. Like, can you even beat that? No, you cannot. Look at these cute welcome mats. I, did I not just tell you guys that I love hydrangeas? Super cute on this one. This is a massive outdoor, oh, I think it's an outdoor lantern. It does, I guess it doesn't say if it's an outdoor lantern, but it's in the outdoor section. It is $50. It says that it does come with the candle, which is nice, but also right next door, they have these outdoor flameless candles. These are cool, $20 for this three pack. I feel like that's a really good price, try me. Oh, only one of them works. <laughs> is that all of them? That's all of them, but super cute. Look at this little cute pre-lit vintage truck. It's adorable in person. The details are super cute on it. You already know if all the spring stuff is coming out, that also means all of the Easter candy is coming out too. Everything Easter related. Oh, I also see a trampoline here. I was actually just looking at trampolines online this morning. This one right here, 269. It's a 14 foot heavy duty pro trampoline. I mean, very much your standard outdoor trampoline. What I was looking at was actually called a spring free trampoline. It's supposed to be a lot safer because the springs are on the side outside of the net. Like, so the kids can't get to them. They can't catch their feet in them. So things we're thinking about. I know some of you out there, they'll have to have a spring free trampoline because they're fairly popular, albeit more expensive. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on them. This is super cute and way too pricey for my taste, but this would be a great idea on Easter morning if you had maybe one child <laughs> because these are $30 a piece. It says three gifts in one, paint your own pail. So it comes with your acrylic paints, your pail, your paintbrush, and then your eight Swiss chocolate eggs in there. You guys, just go pick up something like this at Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Section, something like that. They always have those little paint things, but that is actually a great idea. So you could obviously put one together yourself for a lot cheaper. 
I'm seeing these power barks too, right up here. These dark chocolate pieces. What are these reminding me of? Um, a different brand that's really popular and usually you can find it at Costco. Jojo's, that's exactly what they look like. Huh. Contains milk, soy, almond, pistachio, and coconut, but looks yummy. These are interesting. These are white chocolate and matcha green tea macadamia nuts. Hmm. Two flavors you definitely have to be accustomed to, to like, but that's interesting, $13. For those of you obsessed with the Cadbury <laughs> eggs, there's actually, someone makes a really great Cadbury, well, I'm assuming it's really great, Cadbury mini egg cookie recipe on Instagram. And she, this is what she uses, are the mini eggs. You know, if we didn't have a million and one allergens that we're looking out for, I'd definitely grab some, but for $13.78, I feel like that's actually a pretty good deal for those. They get kind of pricey. But of course you have all of your little like Easter candy big bags down here. These ones are the peanut butter eggs with white chocolate and regular chocolate. This one is a mixture of Hershey's, Rolos, Egg Hunt Kisses. Okay, cute packaging. That's how they get you. And the Reese's eggs. $25 for $3.40 of them. Just for comparison, that paint your own pot that I said was $30 and way too much. This is an actual backpack that they could use for days other than Easter. It's a little like plush backpack. It comes with the dog one or the unicorn one for $26. So even cheaper and still has candy in it. Interesting. I know a lot of you guys love these true for ones and so do I. They used to have a dairy free one. I think it's their dark chocolate one that comes in the freezer. I have, well, maybe, or maybe it was before I went dairy-free. It doesn't matter. True Fruit Nature Strawberries Hyper Dried Fresh and Cream. So these are white chocolate covered. For all of you who hate white chocolate, this is not the season for you. I feel like spring is all about white chocolate. But those ones are $9.48. That's pretty good because those can get really pricey. This is a super interesting snack. This is the Warrior Snack Mix from Bob. It's called Bob's Salted, Salted Caramel. Can I even talk today? Clean fuel with almonds, honey, and salted caramel. And truly, it is like a really clean, other than the natural flavors, but you even use coconut oil instead of like sunflower oil, which is great. These are gluten-free. Looks like they're also dairy-free. They're kind of like, I would assume like a brittle. What I love is this part, autism jobs provider. I think that's fabulous. $13.48. Something about this packaging makes me think that it would be a really great popcorn. I have no idea if it really is. It's called Rob's Backstage Popcorn Sweet and Salty. That is right up my alley. We typically use the Lesser Evil brand from Thrive and I like that because it's really, I think it's organic, but it also has really great ingredients. This one is a big bag for $5.98, which is great. Actually similar pricing to getting the, I get the vegan cheese one from Lesser Evil and then their like kettle corn type one that's also dairy free and mix them together, which I'm assuming is very similar to this wool. You know, gosh, pregnancy brain killing me here. Definitely not allergy friendly. There's no way that it can be. I mean, one can hope. Oh, it is gluten free. That's fabulous. But these are lemon blueberry soft baked clusters of drizzled granola. That looks actually so good. I bet I could make something like this at home because it does contain milk, egg, and soy. May contain basically all the nuts that you could ever dream of, but that sounds amazing. Okay, I was just saying how I was about to get these on Thrive, which they're a lot more expensive on Thrive just because Thrive is not a wholesale place to shop, but I can't find them anywhere else. I wasn't finding them at Costco. For some reason, my Costco stopped carrying them, and my kids love these to dip in. They are the Hippies Chickpea Puffs, uh, vegan white cheddar kind. I've actually never seen these at Sam's Club, literally ever, but they are $6.98, so I'm actually gonna grab two bags of them and keep one of them in our food storage, and then the kids will have plenty of stuff to dip in. Oh yeah, and we did grab hot Cheetos because Derek loves those. For those of you not looking for anything allergy friendly, and this one is a cereal popcorn with fruity pebbles on it. I'm trying to get you a good picture of them. They're just little clusters. It's probably pretty good, $6.98. We are down the trail mix aisle though, and I was just thinking about trail mix the other day, which means it's time to pick up a bag. This is my all time favorite, triple berry nut trail mix from the like Members Mark brand, which by the way, if you're not familiar, the Members Mark brand is the Sam's Club like home brand. Love that one. For $12.98, that is such a great price for trail mix. They also have like your basic trail mix here, which my kids would just pick out all the M&Ms out of there and 
that's pretty much all that would get eaten there. But I have gotten this one before, their tropical trail mix, and it was pretty good. I feel like my favorite thing is always the banana chips, so I usually just tend to grab like a bag of banana chips somewhere else and save the money because I picked through this. But just a bunch of dried fruits, some walnuts in there, and this one is $15.48. This is a different brand, obviously. This is the Wild Roost brand, but if you're looking for a, I don't know, it's not like a super, I don't know how to describe it. Like it's definitely got some added sugar and stuff in this one and may contain, well, let's see, it contains almonds, walnuts, wheat, soy, and milk, which are all things that, not all of them, but things that we're looking out for. Those soft strawberries though, that is what I love in the banana chips, $9.98. It's a very good one. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I used to get it before we went like allergen free. That's just my easy way of saying that. And I loved it. But over here, ooh, I'm seeing they also have Let's see, a Wild Roots chocolatey nut trail mix, almonds, cashews, dark chocolate chips, and hazelnuts. This one is also $9.98. This one contains almonds, cashew, and hazelnut. So just depends on what you're looking out for. These ones are, I've seen this every single time I've been here and I'm not really quite sure what they are. Peanut butter cup flavored peanuts. Isn't that the point of peanut butter cups? They are already peanut flavor. I don't know. $7.98. Let me know if you like these in the comments. Maybe, maybe it's something I'm missing out on. I never really get a chance to look through the whole like refrigerated section because usually my kids are kind of, you know, done and over it by that point. But this is a spicy black bean jalapeno dip. I don't think that I've ever seen this here before. Well, limited time offering, so I'm not sure if it's new, but you can see the jalapenos there in the middle. It kind of looks like a hummus. Let's see. So it contains sesame. Canola oil also not fabulous for you, but if you're looking for a fun little dip, something to change things up, this could be really nice. Doesn't contain any milk or anything like that, which is awesome. A big craving of mine this pregnancy has been a quiche, and I have yet to have one because it would take me quite a bit of work to make one. I may just need to get ahead and do it, and then maybe freeze some, even like for freezer meals. That's a great idea. I will have those videos coming out for you again this time. I did a bunch of freezer meal videos uh, with my last baby, but these ones, I love these ones. They carry them at Costco as well, and they're so good. Well, this is kind of a fun idea. This is a salad topper trio, so it does not come with the actual salad, but that's easy enough. Grab some romaine for yourself. Comes with the antipasti right here. Oh, three different antipastis. Lemon feta, Asiago artichoke and pepper, and then provolini. I have no idea what that is, but that looks super fun and maybe just something easy. If you are looking for something easy for work or something, you could easily just chop up some romaine yourself, put it in a Tupperware, and then grab one of these to go, and it would be much more filling, right? $12.88 for those. We technically don't need a lot more meat. <laughs> I have plenty in the freezer, but whenever I come here, I always grab their organic grass-fed ground beef. It's 85.15, so it's a little bit more fatty than we usually use, but it's honestly still great. We have loved the flavor of this, but it's so cheap. Like, hello, price per pound under $5, are you kidding me? I'm gonna grab two of these, and they freeze really well too. And we're always in need of turkey. This is the better option of the two. These ones are no antibiotic turkeys. This is just like conventional, and there's only a dollar difference between them. So we'll go for this. Would I prefer organic? Of course. We now live in a place where organic is not as easily found as it used to be where we lived before. So take what we can get. I have always been so tempted to try this because I've seen it now here and at Costco. It's a popping boba bubble tea. I know a lot of you guys out there have to love boba as well, but my favorite is the popping ones specifically. Comes with four of each of the mango passion fruit green tea and then that's strawberry lemonade green tea. Eight of them for $15. Holy cow. These are super interesting to me. These are protein pancakes, 15 grams of protein per serving. I'm not sure how many you would need. I'm assuming like one or two in a serving. Um, $10 for these guys for 24 of them. Obviously way cheaper to make it yourself and then freeze them yourself. But I keep seeing people loving like the Kodiak cakes, um, which is very similar to like, they're just protein pancakes. But I did just see these out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Avocado chunks already frozen. If you like to put avocado in your smoothie, which I've heard you don't taste it, you ju it just makes it really creamy. $6.58 for two pounds, that's really not too bad. 
love these organic acai bowls, but they have since gone up in price at 11.48. So we just make our own now. And well, I've done that for a while. These are great for on the go, okay? Cause they already come with everything that you need in there, the fruit and the gluten-free granola that you kind of see on top there. They're already ready to go, which is fabulous. I just make our own smoothie bowls and then I freeze them for like a later date. So I don't always have to pull out the blender and then I just pop them in the microwave or let them thaw, whatever. But for those acai bowls, you can always use and just do like a smoothie bowl with these organic sliced strawberries right here for $10. I feel like that's a pretty good price. They also have organic blueberries and a triple berry blend, which is always one of our favorites too for smoothies. I have always said that the difference between Costco is that Costco has a lot more allergy friendly things rather than Sam's Club, which doesn't have as many allergy friendly things. But I love seeing almond flour here. Ideally, you would want it to be organic, but like I just said, we moved to a town that doesn't really do organic. So almond flour finally sifted. That's fabulous for $13.44. I am out of a couple spices, so I'm actually going to grab this granulated garlic right here. I already put it in my cart, but it's an organic one. It's in like a glass. It feels like glass or, you know, it wouldn't be reinforced plastic. I think that's a glass bottle. So the bottle's super cute for $7.98. I would have rather grabbed it at Costco, but... Here we are. Also in need of some chili powder, so I'm gonna check the ingredients on this one. Ugh, why? Why always so many ingredients? 9.78 though, a good price if you are looking for uh, chili powder. They have so many spices here for honestly pretty good prices, I feel like. Costco also, also does the same thing, but they don't necessarily have a spice aisle like this. So if you've run across, like if you've run by them and haven't seen them, it's because they're usually up on like the top shelf and you can hardly see them down, like usually the nut aisle. A quick note, I bought this one last time or two times ago, something like that, and I hate it. <laughs> So I'm telling you this because in case you go back and watch that one and you're like, oh, she got it. I should try it. I hate it because the grinder doesn't work very well on it and there's no other way to get it out um, and to grind it finely enough so that you're not literally chomping on bits of all this stuff. It takes forever to get anything out of there. So I should have known. Let my mistake be <laughs> a warning to you. I am looking at this though. Look at these crunch blends. There's something like this that's very, very similar at Trader Joe's. I plan on doing a Trader Joe's haul soon. So hold me to that because I would love to get there sometime soon. But this is basically just like chili flakes and oil, but it's really, I don't know if that one specifically is really good, but the one at Trader Joe's that's very similar to that is so addictingly good especially on like roasted vegetables, potatoes, stuff like that. They do carry my favorite marinara sauce here if you're not making your own. Even making my own, I've never been able to get it taste, to taste as good as this. Maybe I need to try again and go on that endeavor this year, but Rao's marinara sauce, $9.98, you get a two pack, but at Costco, I believe these are like the same price at Costco, like 10, around $10 for a two pack. The two pack, each individual bottle there at Costco is bigger, so. You're getting less product here, but it is available here, which is saying something. Well, darn, I'm kind of, I was going to say upset, but that's not really the quite word. I'm just bummed. They usually have spin drift here and lately they've had a flavor called cranberry something and it was really, really good, but they don't have it here anymore. So your choices are between the bubbly, which has strawberry, blackberry, and cherry in it. The Waterloo, which, which is what I'm going for, which is strawberry, lemon, lime, and black cherry. Get these super cold in the fridge and they are so good. Or you can do LaCroix um, for lemon, lime, and grapefruit. They also have a LaCroix over here that's guava, beach plum, and black raspberry. But I'm going for the Waterloo, which is $9.48 for a 24 pack. It's kind of a fun treat for me, so. I told you I would let you guys know how these were and they were so good. The made good chocolate drizzled granola bars in birthday cake, if I can reach this, for $12.98. I'm surprised that they're all still here. Limited time only. I'm always tempted to just get two because my kids loved these and both ate them. They're free from all those things right there. So we're gonna grab a box of those guys. Oh, I'm glad I ran across this. I'm gonna grab some of this Nate's organic raw and unfiltered honey. $15.98 for this one. So the reason that I grabbed this, I actually have two honeys on hand at home. I'm not like a huge honey lover to be honest with you, but there's a taste difference between this and the, I also get one from Thrive called Really Raw Honey. That's like the brand of it. And 
it's so good. It's great. Like even just eating a spoonful of it. And I don't even like honey very much, but whenever I need something for a recipe, so like for a water bath for pretzels, I need honey for a, an Asian inspired sauce. I need honey. So I'll use this, but I'm almost out. So this is going to go in my food storage until I need it, which I'm down to like this much <laughs> in my other one. It never fails on these videos. I always get asked if I prefer Sam's club or Costco since I shop at both and for years it has always been Costco and it still is Costco. I still prefer shopping at Costco. I just think they have a wider range of things that we are looking for. If you're looking for more snacky type stuff and you have no allergies and you can buy whatever you want, Sam's club is a great place. And I do think Sam's club is cheaper. So shopping here for more like weekly or bi-weekly produce is great for us because it's cheaper, but hardly any of it is organic and I like to buy some things organic or I would prefer to. That being said, this is still way cheaper than a regular grocery store. So I prefer Sam's Club over the regular grocery store, but you guys get where I'm going with this. I still prefer Costco. Costco has more allergy friendly stuff, more organic options. And it's like comparing Target and Walmart is how I've heard it compared. And I feel like that's very accurate with Costco being Target and Sam's Club literally being Walmart. Well, if I knew what size Logan was going to be next year, I would actually pick up this little set for him, but it's always such a guessing game. These cute little pants that they have, these joggers, we don't really need any of these right now since we're coming out of like winter and going into spring soon, but they have the bottoms and then a matching sweatshirt top right here in two colors, olive and the blue. Let's see. How much are these? I have literally no idea, but oh, joggers and the crews are $11.98 a piece. That's not terrible. They also have girls right here, except we're just not shopping for these sizes yet, but it's like a light lavender. I know it's coming off a little more gray on camera. It's really a true purple lavender in person, and then a gray with this top. That being said, we have really gotten some great hand-me-downs, um, specifically from my sister-in-law who does shop some things here. I feel like she does. And they've been really good quality. They've held up really well through her girls and then now my girl. But they do have shorts here. Not in any sizes that we need, but these shorts are, I'm trying to look, $10, under $10. They're $9.98. That's a great deal, I feel like, if you need some new kids' clothes. They also have pajama sets, Paw Patrol. They got mini right here. Actually, my kids would love these. Encanto, princesses, tons of stuff. Well, I certainly was not shopping for anything for me. And these don't even catch my eye as being like, oh, super cute. I have to have. Um, you guys, it is so like it. Okay, here's what it looks like on her has a matching jogger set right over here. They're about $15 a piece, right under. They're like $14 a piece. Oh my gosh, they are so soft. So soft. I'm really considering this green color. I might just do it because I always I love wearing little sets like this. Obviously, will it fit me right now? Likely not with this big belly, but I can't believe this big belly only has like three months left. So, oh my gosh, that is so soft. You guys, I am comically trying to like hold up these pants to me and like see like, hmm, I wonder what would fit. <laughs> I, if you don't know, I am 27 weeks pregnant with baby number three. So this belly has been a lot bigger than my other two, just a, a lot bigger, a lot faster. Anyway, <laughs> what I do like about these sets when they come like this and they're separated is I am someone who typically wears like a medium top, but a small pant. So it's nice when they're not like completely grouped together. I'm just like laughing at myself, trying to hold this up to myself, being like, I wonder what size I am. I have literally no idea right now. Came back to these picnic tables because I chatted with Derek over the phone and he was like, yeah, we should grab one for sure. I feel like it's a lot nicer made than the one that we had previously. So $60, I know kind of like a ugh, gut punch a little bit there, but truly with the steel on it, well, I'm not even sure if it's steel, but it's better than just straight up plastic because this is some kind of metal under here that's holding the picnic table up. And that's what cracked on our last one was what was holding it up. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Okay, you guys, I think that's gonna conclude the Sam's Club haul. I did not do a like final cart situation for you guys because you guys keep asking to see it laid out. I can't promise that I can do that for Costco just because usually my hauls there are so much bigger and take so much longer. 
but I am going to do like a food prep situation with this whole haul so you guys get to see me washing fruits and veggies and stuff like that and showing you everything that we got when I get home. So keep an eye out for that video. It'll be the next video that you see coming up on my channel and Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe down below, especially for talking in public to my camera, you guys. <laughs> Give me something here. I will see you guys next time. Bye.